What's going on, Knucklehead? She Cam Gaming here with another LEGO Legacy Heroes unboxed video for you. And today, we're back in the studio with Vintage talking about what's to come, possibly, in LEGO Legacy Heroes unboxed. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about space, right? Everybody loves space. You know, you got Jenj, you got Gorwell, you got all that other good stuff. You got Locust. I know everybody loves Locust. And we're going to talk a little bit about a certain possible IP that might be in the game, but it's kind of an IP. We'll talk about it when we get to it. Vintage. It's complicated. <laughs> yeah. Vintage, take it away with some space talk. Okay. So, as always, uh, you know how we're doing these. Uh, we're going to start with the sets. Now, this set, I pretty sure is not destroyed in the game. I think this one's completely outside of it. Um, but we have the Alien Avenger. Yes, so that's from the UFO series, right? Correct. Set yeah. number 6975. Well, that's not destroyed in the game yet because there's no destroyed sets in space anymore. But that, I, That's what I was thinking. I couldn't quite remember. I love that series. I love that set. I actually... That was on my wish list of space, fig, space figures was a like Zetaxian Overlord. You know, something that had like an, an alien and maybe a techie tag that could kind of be like a, a taunting healer taunting a healing tank like basil or something like that something that like techie and alien and space all need in their tags yep so i think this would be a cool set to have i don't really know if they need to put out new space sets right now though i think what they really need to do is i think they might need to go back and kind of look at this existing space sets kind of mess around with those a little bit before yeah. they think about bringing out a new one yeah this set just kind of screams to me like hey this is the alien set this is the main set for the alien tag which i mean even if they put in as a taxi and overlord there's only three aliens then in the game so let's get some more aliens in the game first or maybe get aliens ready to be released into the game with the set i think that would be really cool yeah i think that it's not quite rounded out enough of a faction to push this set out um but yeah. i think I think we could possibly see this one in the future. Yeah, especially that that is a faction that's not rounded out. But unlike Blacktron and Ice Planet, Alien actually has the potential to be a very rounded out faction. So I love that they have a set in there that could fit in with it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, kind of going to classic space, we do have a minifigure there. So we already obviously have our red spaceman in the game as reed we have the black one as jens but there is another one in the files we have a blue one sp004 now this is not benny this ah. is like the actual classic space blue spaceman not named benny not named benny does he have a name classic space blue with air tanks that is his name so, I mean, they could name him Benny or they could just name him Ben. Uh, because, I mean, I feel like Benny is probably a property of Warner Brothers at this point. Yes, it probably is in relation to the Legos. So, but if they just call him Blue Spaceman Ben, Blue Spaceman Ben, that could work, I think. Yeah, it is possible. But, you know, kind of add more of the color to the space because there's so many different colors of these classic space minifigures. Yeah, I would love I, to run I could, I could eventually too. see all of them being in the game, honestly. But yeah. uh, this is the one that's in the files right now. I, I think they would at it's least have to do like a team of five. Like, Jens is the support. I, they'll probably be like, Reed is the attacker because he's red. Blue, maybe he'll be the healer. <laughs> you know, who knows? Yep. And they do got quite a bit of colors to choose from for those, so... Yeah. That would be fun. Now, I'd be excited for that. Now, you said there was two space sets or just the one? It was ju it's just the two things for space and general. Okay, so there's the minifigure and the set. Now, there's... Now, transitioning, talking about Benny and the Lego movie. You know, if you know him, you know him. If you don't, you don't. I... F yeah. My understanding so. is that the Lego movie is an IP that Lego doesn't have the rights to and Game Loft doesn't have the rights to, but Warner Brothers does. Correct. 
Now, I will say with a disclaimer before we talk about these next two okay. minifigures, these are or were, I don't know if they still are, um, files in the game at one point. However, we also did hear at one point that Lego movie was not happening. So take these two how you want to take them, but they were in the game at one point, which is why we're covering them now. So we'll start, you know, going off the blue spaceman, we'll go to Benny. Now this isn't just any Benny, this is the Apocalypse Benny from the Lego movie two. Oh, wow. So they just have that Benny, the minifigure, straight up Benny is in there. Not exactly. This one's a little bit different, as you guys can see on the screen. He does have some slight modifications done to him. Um, but yeah, so this one was from the Lego Movie 2. Now, and he is in there, so there's a possibility of him. Okay. And then obviously, you got to go with the one that everybody loves, Emmett, because hey, everything is awesome. Everything is you know? awesome. So Emmett is also in there specifically the one from the lego movie 2 still um and between those two it would be really cool to see it i hope if they do do another third party ip that they do try and get the lego movie however you never know yeah i feel like if these are I in the game the stuff are difficult i feel like they they literally just like maybe game off didn't really realize it was an ip at first and they started working on it uh, maybe they were trying to get the IP and started working on it, thought it would be an easy an easy grab, and then it was too expensive for them. You know, who really knows? That is completely possible. And, I mean, you have to think about when they were developing this game versus when this movie came out, you know? This movie was, like, what, 2018, 2019? Yeah. Sometime in that time. So that's around when they are doing a lot of the development. So I could see this as being a spark, like, hey, let's put those off to the side so we know about them and potentially come back to them when you have a little bit of, you know, funds to kind of push for an IP. Yeah, you know, when the game takes off and we're doing great and the Ghostbusters are a great success, all those things that happened. Yep. <laughs> Everything just said happened, so. Yeah. Everything was definitely awesome for the first year of LEGO Legacy. So, yeah, uh, you know, I want to I wanna see down in the comments below on this one. Do you guys think that the Lego movie will be put into this game? And and do you want the Lego thoughts. movie? Yeah. Because some people might not want it. Like we talked about a few videos ago. Some people, are, they're only here for Ninjago. Exactly. There, there are some people that are, they're, they're just telling me, they're like, I'm, I'm here for Ninjago. I just want Cole. And it's just like the SpongeBob meme now. Some people really want it now, and some people really oh, don't want it now. God. Where do you stand on the Spongebob meme? I do not want Spongebob in the game. Okay. I don't think it fits the game very well. I don't think it fits the game very well either. At all. But yeah. Anyways, let us know what you think about the Lego Movie slash the Lego Movie 2 and if you would like to see them in the game. That's awesome. Everything is awesome. Well, that's pretty much all I got today, Knuckleheads. Please remember to smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Ding that little bell for some notifications. And as always, remember to knuckle up.